Did you know? Poison sumac, Toxicodendron vernix. Like its cousins, Eastern Poison Ivy and Atlantic Poison Oak, Poison sumac also contains the oil urushiol that can cause a dermatological reaction in the majority of people who have contact with it. But why are Poison Ivy and Poison Oak so well known and Poison sumac much less often heard about? Part of it has to do with the range of Poison sumac. While Eastern Poison Ivy can be found throughout Eastern North America and Atlantic Poison Oak is widely distributed in the South, Poison sumac has a more restricted native range. While a map showing the states in which it can be found makes it look like Poison sumac is everywhere, it is mainly only found in the Deep South, along the Atlantic seaboard, into the Northeast, and around the Great Lakes. But it isn't found everywhere in those areas, as Poison sumac has very specific soil requirements. It is almost always found growing in partial to full sun, in moist to wet, acidic, muck, peat, or sandy soils that contain a high amount of decaying organic matter. Flooding doesn't bother it. Poison sumac can survive months in standing water. In other words, poison sumac is a wetland species, and it is unlikely to be found any place without consistently moist soils. So unless you like to channel your inner Shrek and enjoy hanging out in swamps or other wetlands, I mean, who doesn't, right? You are not likely to encounter poison sumac.